This introduction to the Wheatgrass Growing DVD is being made for a disclaimer purpose. Any copyrights or rebroadcasts of this DVD are strictly prohibited without the express written consent of Michael and Hippocrates. And also, the views and opinions expressed on this DVD are those of me, not necessarily of those of Hippocrates or any of its employees. I mentioned in this DVD about juicers. My favorite juicer and the only juicer that I recommend for anybody who's actually juicing wheatgrass is this little healthy juicer. The healthy juicer is made from Lexin. Lexin is a polycarbonate plastic, kind of like the Vitamix. Vitamix is one of the best blenders out there. It doesn't do wheatgrass though. This one actually does wheatgrass. It's a little manual machine for $45. In my 18 years of growing wheatgrass, this is the best machine I've come across. It's a hand juicer, so it does take a little bit to get used to. It might take a little bit of effort in the first time you use it. It might be a little more difficult to use. But by the second and third time, you're going to get used to it. You're going to know how much grass to put in. But it works with a single auger unit. Now, the single augers work the best for juicing wheatgrass, leafy greens, uh, sprouts, cucumber, celery. This will do all of that. It'll actually make a green juice for you. Here at Hippocrates, we serve three green juices a day, seven days a week. This will do your green drink for you. Now, with wheatgrass, it actually takes the grass and it wrings it out. Okay, the twin auger machines like your Green Life, your Green Star, the Green Power, the Green Magic, all the things with the two, the two augers in it, they tend to give you a little bit more foam. And the reason for that is they cut the grass into pieces before they actually juice it, so they allow more oxidation. You will still get some juice from them. Yes, absolutely, they do work. But you're going to get a little bit more foam. With the single auger machine, now this auger is the thing in the middle there. It's kind of like the old-fashioned meat grinders. Okay, that's exactly how these work. They look like a little drill bit in the center there. The single auger machines will give you no foam. Okay, so this one is the best one out there, especially for the money, for $45, it's worth it. You can get it from my personal website right on the front page. My personal website is www.hippocratesgreenhouse.com. Okay, the juice comes out the back of the machine. The fibers come out the front. Another great thing about this machine is there's a screen and the screen is on the outside of the juicer. A lot of machines out there, the screen's on the inside. You have to take the whole machine apart, clean it before you can make another juice. You gotta clean the screen in the middle. This one, I take to health shows with me. I travel all over the country and I can do 100 ounces of juice in one day of wheatgrass juice using this machine without ever taking it apart and cleaning it. All I have to do is rinse out the screen once in a while. I do recommend watching a little 15 minute DVD that is made specifically for this juicer. You can go to the website and it'll tell you where to go to watch the little 15 minute um, intro. It tells you how to take it apart, clean it, use this machine. But do watch that first. They do make an electric version of this model too. It is selling now for about $160. And you can get that again via the front page of my personal website at hippocratesgreenhouse.com. Now there are other machines out there. There's the Jack Lane, Jay the Juice Man, the centrifugal cutter machines. Those do not juice wheatgrass. Okay, the Champion Juicer. I love the Champion. It's one of the best juicers around. Does not juice wheatgrass, however. A lot of these machines tell you they will do wheatgrass, but in one pound of wheatgrass, you should be getting 10 to 13 ounces of juice out of one pound. If you're getting less than 10 ounces, it is your juicer. It is not the grass you're juicing. One pound should give you 10 to 13 ounces of wheatgrass juice out of one pound. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind. What we're going to teach in this DVD is going to teach you how to grow a large tray. The large trays are approximately 18 inches by 18 inches square, and that's going to give you two pounds of wheatgrass out of one pound of seed. So one pound of wheat seed is going to yield two pounds of grass, so that one tray is going to give you about 26 ounces of juice when using this little machine. Now we have $1,000 stainless steel wheatgrass juicers here at Hippocrates Health Institute, and those juicers don't do a good of a job as this little plastic juicer does, believe it or not. Again, it looks like a toy, has a one-year warranty, but that's the one I recommend out of all the machines that are out there these days, either the hand juicer or the electric, uh, the electric version of the healthy juicer. Now, the things I'm gonna talk about in this DVD as well, the main issues that I get all the time are, I got mold problems, what do I do? I'm gonna talk about that. Okay, there is no quick fix for that spider webby cottony mold. There's no quick fix. I know a lot of people wanna do the hydrogen peroxide, grapefruit seed extract, all these different things that they've heard. If you spray it on it, it'll work. Unfortunately, you'd have to use it the entire time. Rather than doing that, 
I suggest a couple different things in this DVD to help you with that spider webby mold. The bottom line is if you do get it, you can just wash it off and then still use the grass. The grass is not bad if you get that spider webby stuff. The other thing is the taste of the wheatgrass, and I get that one a lot. Ultimately, when you grow wheatgrass correctly, as I'm going to explain to you, then you will have actually sweet tasting grass. Wheatgrass should always be sweet, palatable. Okay, ideally, Ann Wigmore, who founded this lifestyle back 50 years ago, she healed herself from lawn grass. Okay, it wasn't wheatgrass. She chose wheat because wheat was the best tasting. And I've had some of the other grasses in the past, and they're all good. Grass is good. I want you to hear that loud and clear. Grass is grass. Grass is green. Green is good. So whatever kind of grass you choose is going to be okay, but we want the best taste here. So wheatgrass was the best tasting of all the grasses that are out there. That's why we chose wheat. Now, it's also not supposed to be cut as you need it. Once a tray of wheatgrass is grown and ready to harvest, you need to cut the entire tray and that cut grass will store one week in the refrigerator. However, don't let it sit there and grow because every day that you don't harvest it, it's going to age about 40 years sitting in that tray. This DVD is also going to tell you when to harvest your wheatgrass. Those are the few basic things, that are the main questions that I get here all the time. If you do have any other questions regarding anything that I talk about, as with movies, you know, sometimes you watch a movie, you have to watch it again and again to kind of catch the meaning of it. This DVD is going to be very similar. There's a lot of information on here. I've been in this for 18 years. I started out in San Diego at another institute called the Optimum Health. It's right outside San Diego in Lemon Grove. I started there in 1990. I actually built their state-of-the-art greenhouse that they have designed and structured and built it. If you do have any questions about maybe starting a business after you watch this DVD, you can go ahead and contact me via email. I don't do phone calls, unfortunately. I don't have time for that, but I will absolutely do emails anytime that I can. Okay? My email address is on my personal website, which is hippocratesgreenhouse.com, all in word. And you can um, send me an email direct, ask me questions. I can help you out as much as I can for free. When it comes that you actually are ready to start this and actually do this business, we can get into more details about how to design, structure, and build your own greenhouse. Now, I wouldn't really even build a greenhouse at this point. Okay, I'm working on another DVD that's going to be an instructional business plan DVD. That's not ready yet, but you can email me about that if you do want to get into this more and more in the future. Wheatgrass is a great thing. I'm going to also be making an orientation DVD that's going to explain kind of what the greens are all about in today's world. We have to have the earth back in our food chain. The earth. Greens are the closest thing to the earth. We have to have the earth back in our food chain, more oxygen back in our bloodstream, make the body more alkaline, and increase your circulation. It's what simple is true. Again, 18 years in this. I've kind of seen and heard it all. But this is the heart. You're watching the heart of what these programs are based around, which is wheatgrass and your greens. In this DVD, you're going to get sunflower as well as buckwheat and pea greens. Okay, these are the four things that we grow in the soil. I don't recommend buying any kind of electric kit that are out there to teach you how to grow wheatgrass or tell you you can do it in your home. If you buy this kit and this little thing, I don't recommend anything like that. Okay, all you really need is a tray, some soil, and some seeds, and anybody can do this. There is no automatic grower unit that I would ever tell anyone to buy. They're going to cost a lot of money and they're really not worth it. You're going to end up with more problems. So this one's going to explain to you how to do it step by step. If you have any questions on anything that I talk about in this DVD, please send me an email again. I will help you out as much as I can. The four things that we do in the soil, in the earth, is wheatgrass, number one, best of the best, top of the line. Two ounces twice a day is what we do here at Hippocrates. But for your um, average person at home, two ounces once a day is fine. Do it in the morning on an empty stomach. Okay? Don't ever do more than two ounces at any one given time. That's all your body needs. It doesn't matter the size, shape, height, weight, dimensions. Two ounces is all your body needs at any one given time. Two ounces of wheatgrass juice is equivalent to almost five pounds of fresh vegetables nutrient content. So two ounces is all you need at any one time. Okay? You can do more. I've watched people do more. But their body loves the first two. The other two, for a lot of people, become a diuretic. It passes right through your system. So wheatgrass, number one, best of the best, top of the line. Then we do sunflower greens, pea greens, and buckwheat lettuce. Those are the four things we're doing in the soil. The sunflower greens and pea greens that you're going to see, those are put into our green juice. Now the key to making a green juice 